So I'm gonna increase them full speed. <laughs> uh oh, got a caboose, that's a problem. Got a derailment. Okay. So I wanted to go full speed, but uh, these cars had a different idea. Hey everybody, welcome to a special edition of Dan's Grand Valley Railroad. So, uh, one of my uh, subscribers, TV Toms, uh, he recommended that I look at the instructions for the NCE Power Cab, and they had a setting that you can change the clock to an amp meter, an ammeter, which will tell you what the draw is. So uh, I did that and sitting here now, I don't have any DCC cars or locomotives on the track anywhere, I've taken them all off. So we're gonna do a test and we're gonna check the amp draw on the defective locomotive 306 versus the good locomotives 307, 315 and even my Broadway limited switcher. Uh, to see what the amp draw is for those guys. So let's start with uh, 307, which is a good locomotive. And we'll get that on the track there. And we'll call it up. Let's call up 307. I've got the headlights on, and I also have the classification lights on. Uh, so we'll start it up. Um, you could see that the amp draw was 0.01, before I set it on there. Now it's point zero 0.08. And I'll go ahead and start up the sound. Now you can see the amps climb to 11. And the test that I read uh, that TV Tom sent me uh, said that you wanna test it at uh, high speed on the hardest grade on your layout. So that'll be definitely this going up to the bridge. Uh, is definitely the uh, the hardest grade and the turn. So that's where we're going to test them. So just sitting there idling, it's kind of switching between 0 0.09 and 0 0.11 amps. So let's just increase it slowly. We'll get it moving and we'll see how those amps climb up. And I'm just going to get it going pretty fast. That. 0 0.28, 0 0.31. Let's just full speed as it goes up there. Full speed, 0.39. Now I want to stop it as it comes around here. So we'll stop it. So it was running 0.39, it looked like, at the top end. And let's go ahead and just we'll cheat. We'll bring it around here again. And I'm just going to floor it this time. And let's see what the highest amp draw we see on that. I saw 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.37. Looked like 0.37 was the top on that. So again, let's stop it. And we'll take that off the track completely so it's not drawing anything when there's nothing on the track, like I said, 0 0.01. So let's put on number 315 here. Uh-oh, it, it must have some something going. I should recall <laughs> 315. Yeah, I had it. I had gas going to it. So let us take that off. So now it should be, now just sitting on the track, it's drawing 0 0.11, 0 0.13. Let's uh, do a startup on it, and I'll make sure the headlight's on, and the classification lights. All right, so L is the uh, headlight, still drawing 0.11. Make sure, yeah, headlight's on. All right, 
let's uh we'll do the kind of slow slow increase up to there's 0 0.39 i saw there's full speed now it's down on the downgrade i saw 0 0.39 i'll stop it and we'll try it again there she goes I'm just gonna go for full speed here up the up the grade 0 0.36 0 0.34 so, okay. So about that range in the in the 30s, 0.3. So we'll take that off. Now, oh, for giggles, let's do the Broadway Limited. We'll do that as well. That's uh oops. That's number 1321. It's drawing point 03. I'll start it up. We'll put the headlight on. It doesn't have classification lights. I'll get it moving. So it's drawing 0.06 right now. 0.08. This has a much more realistic speed on it than uh, <laughs> and it, it cut out right there. I don't think it has a, uh, a Oh, sorry about that. All right, full speed going up the grade. 0 0.16, 0 0.14, 0 0.19. This motor is geared way down. I don't have it going that fast because it is a switcher. So it's barely pulling. 0 0.13 of an amp, 0.16. So, okay, that's nothing, that thing because I have it, you know, I don't have the motor voltage that high on the CVs because it's a switcher. That's as fast as it's gonna go and that's as fast as it needs to go. So we'll stop that, pull it off. I have these settings so they're not on the tracks anywhere. So now our power cab says 0 0.01. Let's put 306 on the track and just see. Now look at that. It's pulling 0 0.14, 0 0.13, just sitting. So let's start it up. It's pulling 0.9. Oh, sorry, I have to select the right loco. Oops. Come on, Dan, you can do this. All right, let's get it started up with a three. All right, come on. Three should start it up. There, oh, I had the sound down, that's why. So we'll put the sound up a little bit. Three's got it running. Five for the classification lights. Let me make sure the headlight's on. Yes, it is. So we're pulling 0 0.11. And let's uh let's go. There it goes. So it's already doing its cutout thing. Look at the amps it's drawing, 0 0.82, 0 0.75. If I give it full speed, it's really struggling, 0 0.54, 0 0.59. And that's just because it, it's drawing so much and it's just cutting out. Uh, it actually was pulling more when it was going faster and it was running slower. So let's get it to come back out here. It's really struggling. There's nothing else on the track. No other, nothing else pulling power. So we'll stop it here. I'm going to. Okay. So now I'm going to run it again, but I'm going to run it no more than about eight or nine. Let's let's just do ten. So it's running. It's not cutting out. Not doing its business, but it's pulling 0.79. But interestingly, it's not cutting out yet. Now on the downhill, it, it's pulling less amps. I bet you if I increase it, oh, interesting. It's not doing its little cutout thing. So let's, let's try again here. Get it on the track, on the track. 
And let's uh, let's just give it. I know on ten it usually likes to cut out. So there it goes. Pulling point two one. So now, <laughs> after doing this. No kidding, it's it's running like a normal locomotive. It's running like the other ones. Look at that. Very interesting. So how long will this last? <laughs> Let's say it fixed itself. Headlights on, classification lights on, headlight on. There we go. I'm just cruising it. 0.16. 10. There it goes. Now it's really flying. 0 0.34, 0 0.29. Yeah. So now it's good. So imagine that. What the heck? What the heck is going on with this guy? Gonna try running one of the other ones again. Let's try running 315. Do the same thing like we did. Sitting on the track, it's pulling 0.11. Okay, there's 315. 0.09 amps sitting there, 0.11. All right, let's start it up. Classification light, headlight. It's all going and we'll we'll just run it up to 10 like we did the other one it's running good going up the hill pulling 0.26 even increasing it 0.34 For giggles, let's go backwards. Let's see what it does going backwards. Reverse it. There it goes. It's running backwards. 0.34, full speed. 0 0.36, 0 0.34. Same. No difference. All right. Take that off. Gonna run the problem loco 306. Backwards. It's flooring it. Point three four, point three six. It's just like the other locos. That's what it should be, and it's not doing its little craziness with the high amp draw. So that's very interesting. It'll be interesting to see now let's run let's run 306 with 315 on the track right after it and see we'll just do a slower run let's uh, reverse get it going forward did you hook up ah it hooked up hang on <laughs> okay let's get it going i'll get it going about 10 Oh, I saw 50 something up there. Let's go 315. Get it going the right direction. Let's see if the amp draw for 315. I gotta stop 306 or it's gonna run into. Interesting amp draw. Yeah, well, they're still running. I don't know why 306 is suddenly normal again. Very interesting. Could try pulling a train with it now. Running normal. Wow. All right, well, I'm gonna pull 
the cars around here and we'll have it pull a train and see what happens if it's gonna flip into its its uh, little nonsense again. Okay, I've got 315 pulling six, seven cars. I got 306 pulling seven cars. It just let them go on the uh, incline there. Um, here, let me stop 315 here. Uh, but it started when it had that load on it. It started doing its thing again. So let's see here. 306. Point two nine. There, I'm increasing it. Right. Pulling point four two. It was struggling up the up the grade, and it was doing its thing, but now it it kind of snapped out of it. So let's uh, <laughs> let's let's try it again. I'll bring uh, three fifteen back here. And I'll get them going again. Let's hang on a sec. Okay, I've got 315 pulling seven cars. 306 is pulling seven cars. And I have the DCC cabooses on them, both. So 306 shows it's pulling 0 .47, 0 0.46. And let's see what 315, about the same. So other than I've got a car here that is causing issues, that's great. Okay, so right now I've got 315 pulling seven cars and I've got 306 pulling six because one decided it wasn't going to cooperate. So if you mess around, you get kicked off the layout. <laughs> anyway, 306 is moving smoothly, shows 315 pulling 0.56 amps that's system so it's not each locomotive it's the whole system so right now both are pulling as high as 60 wow 75 going up the grade there plus i've got a car derailed so it's pulling extra hard so it's doing its thing but interesting the amp draw i bet you now as 306 comes around if i increase speed it'll start doing its it's uh so here here comes 306 gonna increase it and i bet you there it goes cutting out amp draw for the system still in the 70s 60s and 70s but it's doing its thing and I'm going to stop it. I've got issues with that car here. Is Something's getting hung up. This is derailed. Something is getting hung up. There we go. So let's take this off. All right, I was having issues with the cars uh, derailing. I think the couplings on that one aren't, haven't been fine-tuned. So right now with both locos and the all the cabooses running, we're drawing about 5, 0 0.52, 0 0.54 amps. I'm going to increase 306 speed. I'm just gonna floor it and I can tell yeah, 0.72 I saw amps. It's it's struggling. You can see it's shimming, shaking. Of course, that's got to be a problem. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's definitely not full speed. So definitely something wrong with that locomotive. Um, so now one more test I want to do. I will put the other 307 locomotive on here and both trains should run without issue. All right, 306 is sidelined. I've got 307 and 315 running at four on the speed, pulling about 41.41 amps. Both of them are pulling the same number of cars. 
Now I'm going to increase to, let's see, I'm at four. I'll take it up to eight, which is pretty fast, but I'll take them both up to eight. And now I've got sound going. And I've got the cabooses with their lights going. And we're pulling, I saw 0 0.70 on there. Sorry, the lighting changed in here. It's hard to see that. So, but everything's running smoothly. They're doing what they're supposed to do. So I'm gonna increase them full speed. <laughs> Uh-oh, got a caboose that's a problem. Got a derailment. Okay. So I wanted to go full speed, but uh, these cars had a different idea. So they get eliminated. And let's go back up to 307. Let's start 315 first, because, all right, 315, we'll just go full speed. And then 307, let's wait till we clear 307 full speed and there we go everybody's running full speed we're pulling i saw 0 0.80 0 0.80 on the amps but everybody's running the way they're supposed to be 0.84 so not even pulling one amp so Definitely that 306 definitely is a problem. Motor problem. This is as fast as, uh, that's 28 on the speed control, so normally I wouldn't run them this fast, but. All right, well. I'm gonna stop them. <laughs> I don't have a wreck. There we go. All right, well, that tells me pretty much that this 306 has a motor problem. Definitely something wrong with the motor. So maybe if I can find another replacement motor, I doubt that it's the, I really doubt it's the uh, decoder. It's got to be the motor. So let me know what you guys think. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, helping me out with this test and all your suggestions. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next video.